Hey guys, welcome back to Front Seat Driver. My name is Jason and we are here at Protective Dad Pranks, Steve's house, and we are going to finally install the Eventury air intake system. And man, this is one of the most beautiful air intakes you will ever see. We're gonna take a look at Steve's here in just a minute. It's been available for the coupe for quite a while and they finally got it for the convertible. So we were going to install it a couple of months ago, but being that it's 115 degrees every single day here in Texas, we decided to wait for a little bit nicer weather. And today is that day. So we're gonna get it installed right now. We're gonna give you guys the uh, tips and tricks on how to install this, so stay tuned. All right guys, so check this out. Now, first of all, I actually just wanna show you Steve's engine bay. Most of this is all from AG Motorsport. They killed it. This stuff is absolutely just impressive as can be. Uh, however, the engine intake right here is from Eventuri. So you got your nice red stripe right there going through the center. And here is the air intake. Checking this thing out, all carbon fiber. And of course you've got the glass that you have to install. This thing's a pretty serious project and uh, we're about to do the undertaking. Well, when I say we, as always, <laughs> I mean, Steve. <laughs> so I do great installs by standing around and watching. Yeah. You get some though. Yeah, occasionally I do a few. <laughs> so, but this will be definitely be outside of my skill set. But check this thing out. How insane is this? So we're also going to change it from the red stripe. We're going to put yellow. I picked up some vinyl. It's going to be awesome. So let's get moving. All right, so we went ahead and removed everything from my trunk, took out the Jake Skull uh, mats that are in here. Those things I highly recommend, absolutely awesome. Anyway, we took off the backing door right here that gives us access to the air intake. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish opening up the inventory intake and we're gonna take a look at that. All right, so check it out. And it is absolutely carbon fiber through and through but this thing is absolutely beautiful, such high quality. But again, we are gonna replace this red stripe with the yellow to help match my car. Of course, it works perfect with Steve's because it's torch red. However, mine is not, so we are gonna get that addressed as well. All right, guys, so your first tip is you have to disconnect this wire right here. It's for your air temp, and you're gonna wanna pull this red piece right here to the right, and to the right of it, there's a little button that you're gonna need to push in to be able to release this. And we actually had forgotten, Steve had forgotten because it's been a while since he did it. So we did a little research and that is how you disconnect it, but it can be a pain in the butt if you don't know that that is there. All right, so the difference between the coupe and the convertible is the coupe doesn't have this area right here. So the next step, we're going to go ahead and remove these screws right here so we can remove this antifreeze reservoir so that we can access the throttle body gasket. All right, so we've pulled the antifreeze reservoir out. We just put a little towel underneath here so it doesn't mess up the intake. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step. All right, guys, so we are basically done. We removed the air box. We did do a little damage here. It was extremely tight getting it out. And to be honest with you, because it was so hard, we took a hacksaw to it. <laughs> we did, I'll tell you it. Between the, the coupe and the hard talking verbal, it's a little tighter. Um, I wanted to put a joke there. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay, so it was a little tighter, but the thing that we ran into, we had, we actually hawk saw the top iron. Yeah. I don't know how anymore to get it off. Yeah. I, I'm not saying you can Without destroying it, maybe somebody else maybe did, but somebody, we didn't. Yeah, somebody else did, but we just caught the top off. You gotta be yeah. careful, there's a sensor on top of it, so be careful doing that. But um, the hardest part for me is, Opening, closing, yeah. opening, closing. We had to do that over and over to get yes. in and out because you can't do the, the... You can't have the trunk yeah. open and the roof open at the same time. Yeah, it was just a pain. And then getting to these... I'll tell you, to getting some of these wire pieces, they're actually easier on the, the uh, hardtop convertible for some reason. I don't know. But yeah, so we got it out. Now we're going to do an install. And then Jason uh, mentioned earlier, we were going to change out the stripe to yellow. We tried it and he just said, yeah, it's probably gonna look kind of cheesy. Yeah, I, I, you know, and because of the red tail lights, I feel like having that red stripe, it gives us something to tie in. Yeah. I thought it wasn't going to, but I do like it. Yeah, make sure, and if you do not have uh, magnetic screwdriver tips, make sure you, the hack that we use is- We taped it. it. Yeah, 
Um, yeah. Here's the hack that we use. Take some tape and uh, make sure this bit doesn't fall in there because yeah. you're going to waste. I did that on mine and it took me about two hours trying to get the stupid. Yeah, I could see you trying to dig down inside of here. Oh it must have been a real lot of fun for oh. you. Yeah. So let's put it together. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so here is one of the tips um, I noticed on the first time I did it. There's this uh, clamp here. If you've got the tool, fine, but I, I it struggled with me for a while. I just ended up breaking it. You are not gonna need this clip anymore. So just take a screwdriver and undo it. And eventually you're gonna have to pull out this elbow and you're gonna use this and they provide a clamp, but that's what you're gonna need to take off. Okay, so here's a tip and trick. When you go ahead and cut out the carpet, which we did, you're gonna reach in with a, they say crayon, which really good is you get one of these white paint markers you're gonna reach in, you're gonna do an outline, and you're going to pull it out, and then you're going to, they say to bring it in one centimeter inwards, and then you mark 10 centimeters, stupid matrix system, or metric system, but so you mark two dots, and you gotta round it. Once you mark this, which is gonna really help you, get a bowl, lay it down, and then line it up, and you have a nice, even curve. And then, easiest way to do is get a really nice serrated knife. My wife is gonna kill me on this one. But you We're not going to tell knife <laughs> and cut straight lines. So this one turned out perfect, but I don't think Jason would do it by himself. Absolutely not. Zero chance. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have the inventory air intake installed and Steve. I'm worn out. I'm <laughs> telling you, I only do this for Jason because my best friend, I'm telling you right now, I ain't doing it for nobody. <laughs> not for less than a grand. <laughs> We done, this way it's almost four o'clock. We've been doing this for seven hours so far. Dude, I'm tired. You did 99% of the work. There's some things rough, but here's a tip for you. So when you do this last gasket, um, install it on, even Tori says install it on here, not on the glass, but here's what you want to do. What I learned from doing mine, when you go to stick it on, actually start on the bottom, but you want to peel it and then stick it every once in a while, just stick a little bit. Don't press it into place until you're finally done because mine, I, I ran out of this and I had to reposition it. So uh, make sure it's perfectly, then you cut it and then that's the next step. We'll put the glass on. I'm looking forward to being done. <laughs> okay, this is probably single-handedly the best tip I'm gonna give you, buy in dust, because this does get static clean, it does get some dust, and you're gonna have to pull it off. I pull mine off about every thousand miles, but use this on your in the plastic cover, and it's definitely gonna cut down on some of the dust you're gonna get. All right, guys, so we are actually cleaning up the glass cover. It came out with a little haze uh, from Eventury, and uh, we just wiped it off. It wasn't coming off, so Steve grabbed some rubbing alcohol, and it is taking that off. So his never had it, but if you happen to get one and there's just a haze on the glass, we thought it was a cover on there, um, but it wasn't. We just wipe it off with some rubbing alcohol, and you'll be good. Yeah, look, it's clean now. It is beautiful. All right, guys, that is it. So check it out. Even Turi carbon fiber air intake looks really good, and uh, I'm super pleased. And I know you're super I'm worn this out. Is over <laughs> and uh, buy one, but don't ask me to install it, dude. And I know. <laughs> don't ask me to even be a part of watching because oh. <laughs> what little help I gave was uh, it wore I me think, out. Uh, I think just uh, Jason said uh, I would have gave up like ten. The times. first clip, like. like I wouldn't do this. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Absolutely not a chance in the world. So I have to say thank you to Steve because, again, this product <laughs> would never be in my car if it wasn't for him because I would never have put the effort into it because my skill set is, is, is maybe a point five. So now, on your way home, you're going to have to do an in-car drive. Yeah. See what you think about. Is I it? know it, what it does. I can feel the horsepower, and I definitely can feel there's more thought and response. Yeah, and I remember hearing that. Whoosh, Oh, yeah, whoosh, you're going to hear it. Whoosh, yeah. Now, I know you don't notice it anymore because you've had it for so long. No, but I think my seat's definitely quicker. Yeah. You'll well, cool. Out. All right, well, I'm going to get out and here in a little bit. We're going to get <laughs> take it for a drive. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, so we finally got the Eventuri air intake installed. We're about to take it out for a ride right now. I can already tell you it's not psychosomatic. This thing actually idles louder than it did prior. It is definitely louder, and you can hear it breathing. Get on it.
All right, guys, so this is a cold start with an AWE exhaust and the new Eventuri air intake. Let's take a look inside. Once again, just wanted to show you Absolutely awesome looking. Absolutely love it. And I'm telling you, it idles louder. At least it seems like it idles louder. You can kind of hear the air sucking in. This thing is absolutely bad to the bone. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I want to say thank you to Eventuri for making such an amazing air intake. This thing is ridiculous. And a big, huge thank you to Steve from Protective Dad Pranks for doing the major heavy lifting with the install. If you don't follow him, go follow him, Protective Dad Pranks, on Instagram and also on YouTube. And if you don't follow me and you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button and hope everyone has a great week. Thanks for watching.